is my first acquisition after I started doing the show. Uh, Joe bought this for me, this brand new stove. The other stove that I had was 10 years old. And because I was doing the show and so happy with doing it, he decided that he was going to do an upgrade and we bought this stove. We want to change out the fridge one day soon, but it's still working great. The ice maker doesn't work anymore. We're trying to repair that. But we're going to go a little bit more before we can replace the refrigerator. Everything takes time, right? And this is the other thing that we changed, the sink. We used to have that white um, cast iron type sink that was icky and ugly. So we put this uh, stainless steel sink and I really love this. So this is like stationary things that we've changed out. Of course, since then, we've also changed out our toaster oven and our toaster stuff like that but these are the stationary thing now I'm lucky when I do the show because I have a peninsula here I've seen a lot of people do a cooking show on YouTube and they don't have any type of a peninsula or island my kitchen is big enough let's get this angle you know sometimes you guys don't see the whole kitchen it's big enough that if I wanted you know if I didn't have a peninsula I would have gone to like big lots and bought an island or something to put here to stand in front of to do the show for you guys some people unfortunately like my mom's kitchen is not set up for this so I'm really really happy with the kitchen that I have and when I did my first video on bear pantry talk when I was doing a review there of how I do the show I told you guys my kitchen walls at first was like a lemony type colored yellow because I like yellow in the kitchen and by the way yellow and red makes you want to eat okay just you know FYI but I love the kitchen to be yellow, so I changed the color right away to custard yellow. And Joe was so helpful with that in making sure that we have the correct color because it was like really bleeding onto the cameras and stuff. And it's kind of hard to keep up, you know, in the kitchen, you know, to use it as a kitchen and as a set because like up there on the refrigerator, Joe and the kids tend to want to put a whole bunch of mess. And I was like, no, I don't want it to look crazy in my kitchen. So this covers the kitchen part. See the rest of the house here? I have these three bar stools and so basically when I come home I need to set up my lighting fixtures and stuff here and so these bar stools gotta go so that's the first chore that I have to do to start doing the show up here I have these little lamps that Joe had put up they don't really serve a purpose because they kind of bleed out yellow and they just don't make the food or me look good so we have daylight bulbs in all these fixtures that are what that came with the kitchen so that's a daylight bulb let me go ahead and turn on this one for you. That has a fan and a daylight bulb. And believe you me, I need the fan because it gets hot in here when I'm doing the show. And so here, I have another daylight bulb there. This vlog is really about what I do to get ready for the cooking show and also what tools I'm using now to do the cooking show because I have um, a video at the other site, at uh, the review site, Bear Pantry Talk, and I show you what I was using at that time so I want to show you how much I've improved so let's get the cameras out so let me show you my cameras and you're gonna see a theme this is they're all cannons first of all they're all cannons and you don't need all these cameras to do a cooking show so don't get scared okay I had the Samsung at first I'll put a link to that first video that I put up at the other channel so you guys can see where I started all right then I upgraded to this which is the Canon 300 this works perfectly fine the problem that I had is that because the batteries would go dead so quickly, I kept unscrewing and screwing it from the tripod, and basically I lost some of the treading on underneath here. So that's the major problem why I upgraded to the 400. So now that I've upgraded to the 400, now that's a problem there too. The phone is constantly ringing while I'm doing the show, so let me get that. Now I'm glad this is the vlog and not the cooking show because then I would have had to stop and go back to where I was and restart and I can't stop the phone from ringing because the base of the phone is out here and that part rings so anyways back to the camera this is the 400 so I'm not gonna go back and buy the same old one right because they had a newer one this is the 400 same Canon again and they all have the same features let me see if I can get this open I'm trying to handle everything in one hand this is what I love about these cameras is right here this hole is a mic jack so I can plug the mic in and this one has it too let me show you see it has it right there for the mic the difference between this one and this one of course is picture quality much more clarity and so on and so on but I like that when you open this door that the cameras on and ready to go and when you close it it saves on the battery with this one you have to shut the whole camera off for it to save on the battery this little light right here is really bright let me see if it's charged it comes with a rechargeable battery yeah cover your eyes see how bright it is and I'll show you how that works when I get it on the stand, okay? It comes with two rechargeable batteries. I bought that separate, and I bought this arm. I think the light came with this arm 
thingy right here. And I was showing you just now before the phone rang that Joe has this, I call it, it's up on dubs. Joe rigged this so it could be tall like this up on here so that when I uh, pop the battery pack off, I don't have to unscrew the camera ever. The thing is, I just can't throw this camera in my purse now to go do any kind of vlogging anywhere because it's built onto this. I mean, it's not permanent. I can take it off, but if I take it off, then I have to have Joe go on, do his little thing, his little MacGyver thing to put it back on. Now this, I love this. I call this my baby. I love this uh, Canon Power Shot. It was like 300 and something dollars for this camera. It's a video plus still, but it's really a still, but it does video. And I grabbed this in a pinch to like show you the finished product of the food and to do snapshots and stuff. I do a lot of my snaps with this. I love this camera. It has good sound, good picture quality. At this site, when you see the videos where I'm singing, we're actually taping with this and Jada has it off the stand and she's just like kind of going wild in my face. This is Jada's baby. I really bought it for the show, but I'll be honest, I don't know how to work it so good. <laughs> so Jada has to do it. It has us up here, a foot, I think this is called a footstool or something for you to put like that same little light that I have over there and, um, or a flash or something, but it comes with its own flash too. It does video. It doesn't record a lot of video, but I'll show you a video that it does in this video somewhere. I'll show you a, a beautiful video that it does, but I love this camera. Two. Let me see if I can get this open. Hang on. There it is. I got it open. So it has this door that you can flip it that way so you can see yourself. All these cameras have the door where you can flip them and you can see yourself so you can know if you're in the shot. This camera doesn't. So I kind of have to get a lot of help when I'm going to use this camera. I have to position it correctly, record a little bit to make sure. So this is mainly for my snapshots. And we're going to use this camera real soon to do Jada's music video, by the way. This is like an $800 camera. It's an awesome camera. It's just that I don't know how to use it so well. And it doesn't record video for too long. If you want to record video, you definitely have to get a bigger um, memory card. And you have to get the one with the 10 on it rather than like the 4 or whatever that comes on the regular memory card. So these are the cameras that I now use to do the show. I don't want you guys to be fearful if you want to do a show because you don't need all of these, okay? But you're going to need a camera that takes a good snapshot for you to do your thumbnails because YouTube now is giving everybody thumbnails within the first month of having your um, channel. And you, you really want your thumbnails to look gorgeous. So if you're not using like the Galaxy that I have right here, the Samsung I, um, phone or the iPhone, you're going to want a good snapshot camera to take snapshots because this doesn't take snapshots and you're going to want a good video camera to do your show. This records pretty good video, but sometimes it gets kind of unstable. So um, you kind of want a video camera and a snappy camera if you want to do a cooking show, right? I don't know about any of the other shows. The vlog, I'm just learning and I'm loving doing it with my phone, like I said. So let me show you how I get all the lighting and stuff set up. Now I'm recording on both these cameras right here. This one is the 400 and it always stays on this tripod because the bottom piece that Joe put onto that actually goes with this tripod. So I can't use any other camera on this tripod. I don't have that little lamp on because it's just going to blind you. But I put that on so it could offer more light. I do get a lot of light through this window and through that door. But on overcast days, it's horrible. Okay, so I really need all these lightings. Especially with the coloring of my skin. It's not as dark as the rest of my family. I wish I had darker skin like them. And here are the daylight bulbs on these lamps. This one on the top here I left as not a daylight bulb because sometimes the daylight bulbs make me look kind of washed out. So I need something to put some yellow hue onto it. And so let me show you, first of all, I bought, this is the first investment that I made even before the other cameras. I bought this Asden brand Pro Series Lavalier or lapel mic, and this is a wireless mic. I pinned this to my clothes. It's attached to this, attached rather to this little contraption right here and you turn it on. And I had to go buy like a little makeup kit. I mean, you make do, right? To put all my components that I'm buying. I even bought this lamp. And this uses like double A battery and it gives a lot of lighting and I, t I take it with me when I go on the road. Like when I went to Megan in Utah and I figured they wouldn't have these lamps here in their kitchen, right? So I took these with me so they have battery and components and parts that I'm not even sure if I know where all they belong to anymore. Right here in this kit, this is a battery pack that I bought for the camera and it comes with two batteries like these two fat batteries. You charge it in this thingy. You can't charge it on the camera, but while one's charging, you could be using the other one. So that's awesome because with these Canon cameras, I don't know if all cameras are like that, but with these, you can't be charging them and using them at the same time. Uh, with these two, you plug them in to just charge. I mean, with that one, 
in this one, the video cameras. But with these two, you actually have to take the battery out and put it on a thingy to charge. So you can't charge and use at the same time. So you're going to want to invest. This is for the video. And that happens quite often too because I'm using my cell phone to do this vlog. Inevitably, I'll get a phone call and it'll kick the camera off. So that's what happened just now. Now, this little thing here is the battery that goes in that little lamp up there. Okay, and it's rechargeable. I'm so glad it's rechargeable. I don't have to buy batteries. So that's basically what I use to do the cooking show. So here now, I'm setting up this tripod with the other camera. So give me a moment. Let me do that. Now, because I have trouble with the treading on this 300 series camera. Remember I told you guys I kind of lost the threading. I don't ever take this little battery off. I keep this on this tripod. It's light, it's just in the way. I keep it on this tripod and then I just take it off and charge the battery when it goes dead. So I always keep it charged. It can only run for about 18 minutes on the power that it has. And I put it right here. Let me back up and show you guys. I put it right here on the side. So see now nobody can pass to come into the kitchen, right? So I put it right here on the side so that you can see my hand when I'm doing things like kneading out the bread or cutting something that's right there. On this camera I don't have a mic so to make the sound sound equal when I'm editing I do voiceovers on some of this. So that's just a little, not a little trick that I'm trying right now. This one I'll use this beautiful Rebel now and again for the opening and the closing to make me look good and then this one like I said I do the thumbnails with this. So let me get mic'd and then I'm going to start using this camera so you guys can see what I do. And you guys can see this is what the Galaxy looks like. You can see it's just a regular phone. Let me stop it. And so now I address you guys right here. And this is what I want to tell you. When I started YouTube it was solely to sell my cookbook. I had this passion to write. I write the first, I wrote <laughs> talking backwards. I wrote the first book, The Small Change Diet Book, just based on my weight loss issues and my weight gain issues. And then I decided to write the cookbook. The cookbook does not necessarily go with the weight loss book, okay? But there's a lot of the foods that I do eat that's in the cookbook. The cookbook is primarily Belizean recipes. I'm from Belize and so that's the kind of recipes that I know. I don't know Italian food. I don't know too many European food. You know, I don't know soul food. So you have to kind of write what you know. So I wanted a cookbook. I didn't wait for a publisher to pick me up because you see that takes a lot of time, energy and money. So I self-published my cookbook. I put it as a spiral bound for those of you who have bought my cookbook because I want you to open it and actually use it. Now this camera is getting ready to go off. Let me shut it off, okay? Now, um, I want to tell you guys, for those of you who want to do YouTube, I've helped a lot of people in my family and close friends get their YouTube started because I believe everybody should be able to broadcast themselves just like YouTube's logo says, broadcast yourself or their slogan actually. And I believe everybody should be able to do that, but people don't know how to get started. Now I bought a Mac. I invested in a Mac. My kids convinced me to invest in a Mac and I'm editing through there. That was the hardest thing that I ever had to do over the past couple of months is make that transition to Mac and also learn to edit in Mac at the same time. But I love it now because I can do voiceovers. I could put picture in a picture. Like, let me see if I'll put a picture right here. And I could do side by side pictures and I can do so much more in the Mac. There's still so much more that I need to learn. And if you guys want me to make a video, showing you the little bit that I know about how to edit in Mac or in Microsoft. Let me know and I'll try to do that. I don't want this to be like a tutorial type um, site. I want it to be more of a vlog, but this is officially my vlog channel and I don't want this vlog to get too long. So basically this is a, what I want you guys to know about doing the YouTube show. This is all the behind the scenes stuff. So thank you guys so much for giving me your time. I know that your time is very important and I don't take it lightly at all that you guys watch my show. I'm trying to keep them shorter and shorter so that you don't spend your whole day watching the shows. But I want you guys to see, I wanted you guys to see what goes on behind the scene here at the show to make it. I hope this helps you if you want to do a YouTube show. And if you have any questions, just ask me. I'll try to answer to the best of my ability, all right? Thanks for watching. Don't forget to stop by my main channel right here on YouTube. It's called The Bear Pantry Show. Please be sure to stop by my review channel right here on YouTube. It's called Bear Pantry Talk.